What's up, what's up, what's up guys? Gambella here. So it's that time of the month again where we're hopping into some TOA and uh, uh, and fighting through this for the month, okay? So we're, 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 we're ready to start and ready to get this up and rolling, huh? Um, I'm anxious to see what I'm going to get. I want to get some red crystals together so I can divulge fully inside of Arena and try to see how far I could do it, how far I can get, and... I, I think it's about time. I think I'm ready to step my face back into arena again. But in the meantime, let's switch this out here. Okay. Um, well, we are going to bring Lucian. All right. Um, I'm going to go with Veramos horsepower. Okay. Um, who else are we going with? We're going to go with some Theomars. And then I'm going to bring all three Ifrits and some AoE. And we're going to do it with that. Okay. So how have you guys been, huh? How have you guys been? It's been a little bit. Um, I've been here and there. I've been doing a little bits of stuff here and there, and uh, just enjoying myself, trying to keep myself afloat, keep my mind maintained. Okay. Um, I I really want to start getting into some marina again, and I, I've I've been taking a, a long stretch of a break off of arena. A lot of people have seen me finishing whatever. <laughs> Uh, Fighter 3, Conqueror 1, just letting the defense do all the work and just letting it be at that. And I've been focusing on other things, trying to get room strength up, um, trying to take care of stuff like that. And This lag is serious. Oof. It's always laggy when I want to make a video. Alrighty. We shall move forward. Anywho, hopefully you guys have been getting your rune, your 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 uh, substats together for your runes and powering up runes and working on your mons and having fun on the game still. You know, uh, I know a lot of people have been thinking like, oh, you know, um, other stuff I want to do. You know, I want to enjoy some raids for a while. You know, it's, you're not obligated to do every single thing in the game. Um, Shoot, you can you can do whatever whatever you feel like you want to do. You know, you can focus on one thing, you can focus on two things, three things, or several things, or everything. You know, you can focus on a lot of stuff. Um, me and myself personally, I've been focusing on fodder farming, uh, rune farming, um, and then doing my normal dungeon stuff and stuff like that. And it's, it's been a, quite a bit of a little fight, you know, trying to get stuff uh, under control and under wraps and stuff. Because there's there's a lot of things I needed to do. There's a lot of runes I needed to power up and stuff like that. And, you know, sometimes that, take, that means taking a little bit of a break from arena, from my normal wear and tear, you know. And, and, and doing something else, doing something different for once, you know. Um... I'm highly proud of my account. I really am. I, I really enjoy my account. Uh, got some pretty good monsters, some great monsters, uh, matter of fact. And it's just like, I, I just enjoy playing the game and stuff, you know. But <clears throat> I'm at that point now where I, I know how to multitask or do other things and stuff. Because I remember once this game just engulfed everything, but... Through time, I learned how to be able to just rely on autoing stuff and still playing the game and enjoying the game and working on stuff like that. So, you know, we, we, we're, we're doing what we can do, okay? We're doing what we can do. I know I'm a little bit behind schedule. I know a lot of people may have been like, "Oh yeah, man, he didn't start up TOA yet. He ain't dropped the videos yet." I'm I'm working on the videos, okay? I'm working on them. I mean, half of you guys can pass all of this this first grade stuff, you know, that's under level 30 pretty fast and stuff. It's usually the higher levels that gives people trouble and stuff. Um <clears throat> this month after we get done with TOA um TOA normal, we're going to start focusing on TOA hard and stuff, and I, I've been working on that. I didn't drop the videos last month like I said I was going to do, because I just, I wanted to be able to find the time, and I want to be able to have the success, and you know, I want to build up my room strength before I step in there, you know, and just putting videos on there of me just failing over and over, because there are some stages where it's just hard, and it just 
takes a lot of time to figure out what kind of team to bring in there um, and how I should go about doing it and it, what certain type of strategy I should use and stuff like that. So I want to factor all those in while I'm while I'm doing what I'm doing, you know. Let's get this flow in here. I was playing in the arena the other day. Oh man. Oh, some of those Veramoses is just like, what? Yeah, I was I was protected by a fanatic, but it was just like God. I seen I seen some Veramosis proc violence so many times. It was just insane. I was like, wow, like look at Hot Shot, huh? Yeah, I know a lot of you guys have grown. A, a lot of you guys, um, we. Some people are still having troubles uh, trying to figure out like what people mean by two, four, and six. Basically, two, four, room slot two, four, and six. When people say two, four, and six, they mean room slot two, four, and six. Okay. In those slots, those slots you can get percentage rates because in slot one, three, and five, you cannot get percentage in those slots. So people don't really include those because you can only get attack in slot one you can only get defense in slot two you can only get health in uh, slot five okay so no one really talks about those because you have no choice but to have those best thing to do is try to have uh, six star rooms with the best sub stats is the best you can get out of slot out, out of those slots um, but when they mean two four and six they're talking about speed HP HP they're talking about two four and six every time when people talk about room builds, they tell you the build, they tell you the room set, and then they tell you the build. Oh, yeah, I run my Zyros on Rage Will. Ooh. I run my Zyros on, Ra on Rage Will, and then they're like, uh, speed crit damage attack, or attack crit damage attack, or HP crit damage attack. They're talking about the 2, 4, and 6 slot every single time, so that's, that's, what, that's the logic behind that. Took me a while to figure it out. I'm like, Man, this is difficult. I, I I don't understand what they mean. Like two, four, and six. I'm reading comments where people are having conversations about room room strategies and stuff, and I'm like two, four, and six. Two, four, and six. What the hell is he talking about? I I need to figure out what that means. And it it took a while of me playing to finally understand and, and figure out what they meant by slot two, four, and six. But you know, hopefully you guys understand. I'm 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 one of the guys out there still trying to grow, still trying to do what I can for my channel, and trying to uh, evolve my channel and stuff, and trying to get more subscribers. It, it's just been tough lately. Um, but hopefully over time, hopefully I'll get more subscribers and stuff. I still try. I enjoy making the videos, you know. I enjoy doing the video thing, and it's really nice. Um, I will continue doing videos. Be able to talk to the world one time, you know. Because my videos, I, they, you can, my videos, they can, you can pretty much view them anywhere in the world like when you have certain language on there or certain topics that you're talking about it may restrict you from some countries and stuff I didn't know that until I seen the demographic view thing of the YouTube channel and I was like what I am able to be viewed in every country hmm how terrific <laughs> that is nice so there's a lot of people in Brazil who who give me good comments, you know. There's a lot of people in in in, in India. Um, there's people in China, people in Hong Kong. I don't know if those are the same. Wait, I think Hong Hong Kong and, and China is two different places. And then like uh, Mexico, Canada, U.S. 
uh, Australia, um, Japan, Russia, um, the UK, you know, England, Germany, stuff like that. Like, there's a lot of people who 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 can see my videos, man. You know, my 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 videos are stretching all the way out. You know, so I am I am specifically trying to get things together for it. You know, it's it's fun. Hey, I, I enjoy doing this pretty much. Long story short. <laughs> anyway, um, other than that, I've uh, been dealing with the kids at school. Uh, they're combating it, you know. Uh, a little behavior stuff here and there that we have to work on and stuff, but we, we're getting it together. Um, I've... Uh, I've gotten more in tune because it's like I, I graduated from high school and all that stuff. So going back and trying to show a, a, a kid how to do certain math problems or history problems and stuff, stuff, stuff like that, trying to help them out with homework, it's like it's real tough because it's like I'm not really a. I'm not a school teacher like that, you know, so I have to figure I'm, I'm learning ways to teach them and, and getting better and better by completely not going nowhere near the answer and letting them figure it out for themselves. So we've been at that phase and stuff. It's like my son's like, is it this one? No, we're not going to guess. You're going to figure it out. You're going to you're going to do the work, show your work of how you got that answer, you know, do what you got to do. You know, um, kind of like my young Lucian here. Um, before I had Lucian, I used to fight Lucians in arena because people would have them on defense. And the first few times I ever fought him, it was like, whoa, this dude is insane. You see that? Damn, he almost, he, he almost wiped my team or he, he wiped my whole team. That was a slick move, you know? And I was just like, whoa. But then I start running into him, and it's like, okay, if I can speed up fast enough and attack him before he's able to get that ant magic off, then I'm all right. Because usually that's the only damage dealer back when I first started, you know. And, ooh, someone just got a beast, monk. What? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Which one did he get? Uh, uh crats. There we go. And, ooh, Kumar. And I would be like, whoa, you know. And then I'd start figuring out that he was super squishy. He'd have, like, between 9 to 11 to sometimes 12, if we were lucky, HP. So I start figuring out ways to just annihilate him fast. Like, get it, get rid of him fast. And the rest is dealing with Chaseoons, which sometimes I couldn't beat her because I didn't have enough DPS output. But... Then I figured out, you know, the best way to beat her is to do a lot of damage fast to where you can do as much damage as you can to her before, uh, more than what she can heal or take out all her teammates and then all she's left with is one heal, okay? So, and then uh, I'm like, man, if I ever had a Lucian, I wouldn't put him in defense. Actually, Lucian is not bad in the defense. Lucian is pretty good in the defense, but... When I finally got my Lucian, I was like, okay, how to build my Lucian? I want him to do great damage, like like these uber ones I've always saw. I want, to, I, want to, I want him to do great damage, you know? And then I start running into double Lucians. I, saw, I once ran into a triple Lucian team inside of Arena. And it was so easy because I knew he didn't pack that much health. All I got to do is go in there with some, like extreme nukes and like destroy everything before Lucian even got a chance to get a shot off gay okay? because no one's ruining him swift not that I know of I never ran into any you know so we I, I nuke him and it, he still wasn't a problem so I'm like okay now building my Lucian I tried him on Rage Blade and he was also squishy so I'm like okay besides the crit rate crit damage and the speed substats Let's try to build on HP percent and defense percent as well. Resistance, 
we'll get it if we get lucky. But those are the subs. Those are substats that I'm gonna be focusing on, you know. And I was able to get some great runes, and I was getting good runes here and there. And then I ran into a defense, uh, a guard, a guard rune set, and I was like, "Wow, you know what? These would be really nice on Lucian. Let me try them out on him." And it actually gave him a little bit more beefy beefiness. Now he can still get annihilated. But it's a DPS. If I do damage fast enough, that it just gotta be faster. If I can do damage fast enough, I've I've had several situations where Lucian didn't die. I've went in situations where I took Lucian in there and there's like two Firemons in there. I went in there where it was Lucian uh, was on my team and there was a Zyros on the opposing team and still annihilated. It, Lucian was built up, you know. He was faster. He was he's he's healthier. Like. I believe my Lucian has. We'll, we'll find find out after this. Oh, nice! They did the transmog. I guess they must have heard my last my my video from last month's TOA where I was like, "Oh, God, I wanted Camila so bad." Oh, oh! They give me one, man. Oh, it'd be so nice. Triple Ifrits, okay? Triple Ifrits. Ooh. We can use that. We got plenty of fodder for it. Okay, let's see real quick. My Lucian has 14, close to 15k HP because basically 15k HP. Might as well say because of my tower, right? So 15k HP. He's able to take two, three licks. You know, like as long if a monster misses a violent prop, <laughs> my Lucian has the opportunity to annihilate. Okay. He has the opportunity to annihilate, which is good. It's really, really good. Let's see if he does an ant magic. Nice. But, I mean, this is early stages of TOA, so, like, but I've taken him into arena. This is a TOA video, not an arena video, so I'm not going to show it now, but... Man, I've I've went into arena and I've 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 overcome fire monsters with my Lucian before and it was not a big deal at all to me. It was just like, ugh, Lucian, ant magic, bam, 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 bam. There was times I took like Jemire, um, I took Jemire as leader because of the speed, be beefing up the speed way faster, and then I I went with uh, Chloe for protection. Lucian and Megan and man Megan would buff him everybody went before Lucian the whole setup was for Lucian basically Jemire well no Chloe will go first she'll do fanatic Jemire will go no and then Megan will go next and then it was Jemire and Jemire does his little move or whatever I won't waste a turn I wait till everybody do their their number three skill first and then um uh Lucian's turn to be up he's buffed up on speed and everything and by this time like maybe one or two monsters had a turn on the opposing team Lucian goes BAM at magic he's doing like uber damage okay uber damage and I'm like oh yeah how you like them cookies how you like them apples how you like them oranges and peaches and I'm, I'm talking big crap okay it was nice and that's how I look at it I, I feel that During your experience of playing Summoner's War, don't not only rune that monster to what you what everybody else runes him, also rune him to where to to try to overcome some of the weaknesses you have seen when you faced off against these monsters. I'm sure everybody has fought almost every single monster against every single monster in this game, and all of them are mostly runed differently. And I ran into like Brandia, I ran into all these Brandias, okay? All squishy, but they all did major damage. And I know this because I've had my Zyros hit for like 80,000 damage inside of Arena, okay? 80,000 damage by a Brandia. So I know for a fact what she can do. We know her, okay? We know her and we know what she can do, okay? But what... I didn't know was that sometimes people will ruin things differently. Not what you expected. Okay? 
So I ran in there one time and there's Uber team, okay? Uber team. They had Vanessa, Brandia, um, I think it was Platy, and someone else, maybe Veramos. I'm not sure who the other person was, but it was a it was a really nice team though. It was a really nice team. And I believe Brandia was the leader. But my turn went, and when I started attacking Brandia, she was so tanky. It was it was insane. Like, the damage I was doing was not the usual damage that I do. And I'm like, I don't have glancing hit on. What the heck is this? And when she hit, she didn't hit for no 80,000. She didn't hit for 50,000. She was hitting for like seven, 8,000, you know? But when I hit her, it was it was barely doing any damage, you know? It was like a trap team. And I was like, oh, no way. Oh, and this was doing rush hour. This is like the, one of the last matches of a rush hour uh, in the past, man. And I was just like, oh, man, I should have knew better. I, Well, I didn't know, okay? I didn't know. I was thinking like a Brandia Guardian 1, like, <laughs> and that losing that match put me like, Kicked me out of Guardian 1, borderline, you know, and I was just like, oh, man, I should have, I don't know. Sometimes you just don't know what's going on, you know. You don't know how stuff is ruined sometimes. Uh, I try to come with different ideas and stuff of uh, what I want to make videos of because there's a lot of YouTubers out there and a lot of YouTubers have a lot of unique ideas, you know, and it's, it's not, it's not my forte to just go in there and copy everyone else. So I try to do something different from everyone else. So that's why, like, I make TOA videos every month. Uh, that's something that not all the other YouTubers do. Some YouTubers will make videos of certain boss fights, but no one does like videos straight through from beginning to end. And then if you have questions of, you know, what kind of team should I use? You know, you try to use a team like yours, it didn't really work out. Or I don't have this monster, I don't have that monster. You know, I'll switch things up, you know, and, and do something different. And, and sometimes I'll show them. I actually even made a video showing uh, uh, one subscriber, uh, like how to do it with monsters that were kind of similar to hers or his and 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 it worked out it worked out they passed it and my advice was greatly appreciated and it made me happy it made me feel like it made me feel pretty good because i was able to help um my knowledge of the other game is continuing to grow there's little things that i'm learning here and there and like now i'm just on that i'm on that crossroads where it's like i need to get I need more runes. I need more runes. I always need more runes. More runes. More runes. More runes. And it's like, that's that's pretty much where I am right now. And once I get to that point, then I'll be good to go. Um, I'm just anxious to get there, you know. And my daughter's birthday is coming up. She's getting ready to be eight years old. Oh my God, man! As a single dad, man, I I I, I raised both of my kids since they were babies by myself and. It's been a long, hard road, and it's like, oh, man, seeing my little girl grow up is just insane -o. Straight insane -o. And it's like, now she's, like, she's tall, too. She's, she's getting ready to be eight, and she's like, she's, she's closing in on my height. <laughs> she's a very tall girl. Both my, both of my kids are pretty, pretty big and pretty tall for their age. A lot of people were like, dude, what are you feeding them? <laughs> Lots of meat, <laughs> burgers and steaks and stuff. All right, we'll 
we're progressing through this. I mean, besides the lag, we're making good time. We're making good time. All right, at level 30, we're going to take out Mr. Zyros. Okay, and we're going to try to put in a monster of more of what a lot of people usually have. Okay, so we're going to go with that. Boom, boom. I happen to like the Barbarian Kings. I like all of them. The Win Win is not my most favorite, but he he's AoE, though. He's different from all the other ones. I think the other ones are single target that I know of, you know. All right, we're going to take him out. We're going to put... Mm, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll put Theo as leader, okay? Um, we'll take out Lucian. Not everyone has Lucian. Uh, what other monsters do everyone have? We'll put in Fran. Okay, we'll put her in there. Okay, you know, and I want to say Vertihill, but then again, it, Bella would be nice. Um. Who's another good mom to use? We'll put in Sigmoris. See? We got we got plenty of fusions, okay? Lots of fusions going on. And also on top of that, we have like uh the light fairy who was when I first started playing, they were giving her away. And I was just like, what? How much you gotta pay for her? I'm sure there's a catch to something. This is awesome. She's a natural three star. What? <laughs> and I rolled with Fran. Fran was my DPS and she was my uh, my healer at the same time. She was she was my Mad Hills. <clears throat> yeah, me and Fran go way back. I think this is the most, <laughs> she's, <clears throat> she's the most expensive light fairy in the game, okay? We're not going to talk about my, <laughs> but we're not going to talk about my greatest failures in the game, okay? I fed her devil wands like it was no one's business because I didn't know what a fairy, I, I didn't understand the fusions and stuff in the beginning. There's a lot of stuff I didn't know about in the beginning. But mm, all right. So we got all fusion power in here, and then we have the giveaway monster from last year. Okay. We're gonna roll in there with this and see how far we can get with this. If things start looking troubling, then we'll start putting in more tanky monsters and stuff like that. Okay. I like to try different stuff out, kind of give people an idea, you know, from 1 to 30, you know, if you need help, just hit me up, you know, I'll, I'll try to make a team for you, figure some stuff out for you, but after 30, you know, I'll, I'll start putting mo more monsters in there that I know most people have, okay, a lot, <laughs> most people have Theo Mars, most people, everybody better have a Veramos and think, and they're thinking about beating TOA, okay, and, uh, most people have a, a have a mirror, and a lot of people, majority people, has a Sigmora. So, you know, all this works out. Okay, you know, I got a Sigmora from a scroll before. I didn't keep him. I fed him to my other Sigmora. <laughs> Some monsters I'm willing to do doubles of, and then I'm not I'm 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 not one with clogging up the space with just multiples. There are certain multiples I'm willing to do. I got a second Theomars too, but I fed him to a mirror. 
I got a second Lucian, but I'm keeping second Lucian. We'll run double Lucian. Uh, I got a second Rika. We'll, we'll run sec, uh, double Rika. Um, I'm hoping that they don't really spam me with, with a lot of the doubles. Hopefully that they, hopefully they give me, you know, different things to work with. I like to have variety of choices, okay? Variety of choices. So this is some pretty good horsepower here anyway, so we should be able to get pretty far with this without any issues. There we go. And people are wondering, you know, it's 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 all in the rune strength. It's all in the rune strength. Wow, everybody's buffing up. Look at them. Whoa. All that all that reverse damage. <laughs> mm, let me try something a little different. Let's see here. Mm, let's go with we'll go with Colleen on this. I think lag has chewed up about two minutes, you know, causing the, the, the lag delay of, I mean the load time, the load time is a little slow, it's not really, it's not really laggy laggy like that, but it's, Boom, boom. Right, laptop just came on all by itself and start talking. Like, what the heck? And it was closed up. I think I'm gonna switch one of Fran's rooms. Whoa, someone else just got a beast mop. Oh, it's Kumar night, huh? That's second Kumar this video. People are popping off Kumar's left and right. Okay.
Hmm. Alright, this will be our last stage right here against the Kung Fu Girls, and then I will catch you guys in the next video, okay? Boom! Stunned everybody. And and Amir took advantage. That was rare right there. We don't get to see that every day. Not from my Amir anyway. My Amir is still work in progress. Alrighty. Alright, I will see you guys in the next video. I appreciate you guys uh, tuning in and checking out the vids. And we will work our way through this. We're already, we already uh, uh, pretty, pretty good inside of the TOA. So let's keep it rolling and I will catch you guys in the next one.